my name is Greg Tooney. I'm the chair of the Industrial Design Department here at the Columbus College of Art and Design. And we've been a participant in the International Housewares Shows uh, competition, student competition, for many, many years. Uh, we enjoy using the uh, competition to help reinforce the process that we're trying to teach our students. So the really nice thing about the IHA competition is that it allows students to develop something with real world expectations and it's judged by a panel of experts to kind of see if it actually fits in that world. My name is Pascal Malassigny. I'm in charge of the industrial design program at MIAD, which is the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. We have been participating in this competition since the 90s. Uh, we're very pleased that we are among the top winners in this design competition. It is free to enter the competition. It provides major exposure for the winners at the houseware show. It provides generous cash prizes and great feedback from two jurors. Hi, I'm Evan Dash, CEO of Storebound. I was on the board of the Housewares Association for the last six years, and I love every year in Chicago getting to meet the Student um, Design Award winners. It's always exciting for me to see what young creative talent comes up with. We're down here at, on the set of one of our home shopping channels, and we're getting ready to introduce a new product. So I hope that you'll enter in the Student Design Award competition, and maybe your product will be one of the next ones that we're presenting on national TV. My name is Dan Cafaro. I'm the chair of the Industrial Design Department at the Cleveland Institute of Art. We have been participating in this competition probably almost 20 years. Um, it's to the point where we've built it into our curriculum because we believe it's such a valuable piece of our curriculum and, our, uh, and student learning. Uh, it reinforces many of the key points that we're trying to reinforce in terms of the process and, uh, that students go through, in terms of presentation, but there is a panel of professional jurors that allow students to get uh, an objective, objective feedback, um, when students win, it's an opportunity for them to present their work to a really diverse audience of um, designers and companies that are looking to hire. Oftentimes, there are companies that are interested in bringing their, their solutions to market. So the students now have an opportunity to work with a company to take their school project and take it to the next level. Hi, I'm Paul Rowan, a co-founder of Umbra and also a board member of the International Housewares Association and I've been lucky enough to be a judge uh, for the design competition over the last few years. The outcomes have been incredible from the support of the winning designs at the show to the support of emerging talent to job creation to licensing of ideas. Hi, I'm Jennifer Nemec. I won the Housewares Design Competition 22 years ago for a children's pasta maker called Nudolini. How far have I come? Welcome to Ideation Studio. I'm thankful I won and I encourage any young designers to also compete. It was a great opportunity and it launched my career. Hi, my name is Travis Kurz. I was lucky enough to be a winner in the student competition as well as a judge. And I can say from a student's perspective, as a winner, you get to present your work in front of thousands of people in the uh, McCormick Center in Chicago, which is an amazing, amazing accomplishment. Hi everyone, I'm Helen Miller, one of the winners of the IT student competition. For me, the most valuable thing from this competition was a great opportunity to present my work and also made a lot of important contacts for my future career. Umbra is one of the contacts made from the show. Umbra is a large Canadian houseware company. I always want to work for when I was student. Yes. Guess what? After a few interviews, I got hired and moved to Canada and started working for Umbra. So here, i like to encourage any students who is interested in housewares, never miss this chance. You never know what's going to happen. You might be the winner next. Mm -hmm.